Hi guys, this is Stephen Gogoi. Uh, in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. And now you can see this is a crude oil daily chart. Uh, so crude oil uh, yesterday uh, inventory result was there. So but uh, they are not impact too much. But uh, they broke this supporting line here. You can see the crude oil price is uh, reducing. But you can see the uh, if you wanna see this candlestick pattern here. So we have seen the momentum of this candle are decreasing. So after we have seen this is a large candle, bearish. So after followed by a small candle, and I hope uh, they will follow a smaller candle today. So if I am not uh, getting any like candlestick pattern or like chart pattern, I never enter in this market. That is my trading um, behavior, right? or trading strategy so no behavior no it is not called behavior my trading strategy so i'm looking for a high probability trade instead my my law is instead of losing money it is better to uh, don't trade in this market right that is my law and you can see here the momentum uh, momentum of this candle are decreasing so i am expecting today uh, the momentum will very low and we have seen this is a supporting line are there because uh, why i told this is a support and forming a very strong support and here we have seen this was a very strong support are there resistance was resistance was resistance that means multiple testing are there and previous market also we can see here so that was a strong support forming by uh, this horizontal line right uh, 4165 so i was looking for a sell opportunity but yesterday i placed an option there but uh, no loss no gain was there i closed my opposition and uh, especially that strategy i use when i trade in uh, during news time but ultimately i'm uh, like uh, most of the time I become success but yesterday no loss no profit somewhere given my profit and somewhere uh, showing loss but but uh, when i close almost same was there but normally i never trade like that normally i always follow indicator and here we have seen another support are there here why the level is four zero Six six. This is a support. If I uh, find any uh, buy opportunity, so definitely I will go for buy in this area. So why I'll tell you. So now we have seen in this area here was a resistance and here was support. Uh, here you can see a little more breakout. And again we have seen this is support, but a little more breakout, uh, false breakout are there. And here was a resistance, multiple testing to break this level and form support. And then now you can see here it's a resistance here resistance the resistance the resistance and uh, somewhere here but it is uh, not called resistance but false breakout so we have seen this is a strong resistance oh sorry support are forming right now in this area so that that is why I wanna go for buy in this area but remember if I'm not getting any buy signal candlestick pattern bounce back strategy whatever uh, i'll show you in a 15 minute right so definitely i'll go for buy and i'll close here so now we have seen a buy opportunity where in this area so you you must wait for the buy remember or evening session you can just uh, subscribe my other youtube channel um, where uh, i already given my link in this description you just go and follow and there i'm teaching various type of trading strategies, psychology and uh, money management, how to do because without doing money management and uh, trading uh, without having proper trading strategy, you cannot be a successful trader, right? How to do the money management, how to do the position sizing. And if you have a good trading strategy and you know how to do the position sizing, then you can eliminate your psychology factor. Otherwise, no option to eliminate your psychology factor. If you buy like huge volume of uh, like trade, when price will uh, goes against you, so psychology factor will impact in your um, trading, right? So that is why you always eliminate your psychology factor. But 
question is that how I will eliminate that psychology factor if you don't know how to position sizing and you don't know where is your entry and exit point you cannot eliminate right so that is why you just follow it and the position sizing calculator I already given uh, to my subscriber who are already sent their mail so I already sent them and today I think I will teach you how to use uh, uh, calculator for crude oil uh, lead zinc gold silver like that right so now you can see we have seen this is support and here we have seen a buy opportunity above this area and question is that if they break this level can we go for buy but in that case I'm not interested uh, I'm not interested to go for buy because I think they will give a little more retracement again pull down the market so that is why I'm looking for a candles daily candlestick pattern suppose if market uh, stay in this area so that means uh, tomorrow it will be look like a this candle look like a uh, it is called inside bar right so after that I'll from this one like this one so that means above this area I'll go for buy and below this area I'll go for sell so I'm looking for that candlestick pattern but for the buy I will enter in this market right if you most of the people are thinking uh, like uh, so today uh, I have to enter at least one trade so if you are not getting any opportunity don't trade just uh, change the script like uh, cool lead zinc uh, gold silver you will find definitely another option are there right if you have a good trading strategy and uh, like uh, position sizing so you can enter any market right now we have seen this is a supporting line and uh, let's check it in a small time frame like uh, four hour so four hour we have seen price just uh, running in a uptrend and uh, doing a retracement have you seen this is called higher point and uh, now doing retracement and we have seen some way is support all moving averages are arranging like a uh, like sequence you uh, now you can see this is a small uh, after that uh, so all are arranging like that and if you want to see in a four hour the momentum of this candle are decreasing they are creating long tail long tail long tail so that is a sign of reverse market but still they are not confirming right we are looking for a bullish candle here somewhere here so suppose they form a bullish candle are there like that like that bullish candle so it is a sign of bullish right so definitely we will go for buy so in the evening season if they form like that candlestick pattern so i'll explain where is where uh, we can enter in this market now second 15 minute time frame so 15 minutes to look like that so 15 minutes they are running in a downtrend and here most of the people are thinking here like that uh, they are creating lower low right here lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high and following moving average 20 and here you can see moving average 20 so for the short time period you can period you can go for sell or you can short time period you can go for short because here uh, the moving uh, price just uh, following the moving average 20 have you seen bouncing from moving average 20 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 that is called bouncing trading strategy so it is a high probability to bounce from this area but if you want to enter for the sell direction you just place your sl here so there will be a uh, money management calculator how many percent you can enter in this market what is the risk automatically they are detecting so where i met that calculator so let me show that calculator how it should work now you can see this one uh, crude oil money management and position sizing calculator here uh, this one and uh, remember this calculator are applicable for crude oil natural gas gold silver lot calculator right so we have seen here have you seen so suppose if you want to go for sale according to the bounce uh, trading strategy because price is bouncing from moving average 20 right so you are expecting suppose you are expecting it will bounce from this area right so we have seen here uh, target and here moving average uh, we want to place 
SL above this moving average, right? So let me check it. Uh, you just put here. Uh, here we can see for the sell skip. This is a sell skip and this is a buy. So right now we are going for sell. You just write down here name or uh, what script you're going to buy or sell. So sell, uh, we have seen this is a sell script, right? What is the current price is running? 4150. You just place here 4150, 4150. And how many percent you want to take uh, position, uh, like take risk, right? So suppose I want to take uh, 2 to 3 percent who people are new trader you just take to 1 to 2 percent who have little more experience or trader experience trader so you can take 3 percent or maximum 5 percent don't take more than 5 percent in a single trade risk right suppose if you have 1 lakh 1 lakh uh, rupees so they are calculating how many lot you can buy so I'm going to uh, take sell like uh, uh small size so that is why their pips value is 10 and uh, for the large i'll show you later right so now how many points are showing sl you just place you just calculate i want to place sl here so here and this is showing 45 you just place stop loss 45 right so no need to sense anything now it's just showing you can buy six lot right and if you want to buy six lot or seven lot so where is your sell target and the sell profit target if you follow one is to one that means uh, suppose uh, one is to one and one is to one will be here somewhere like that why because i want to take uh, uh, 45 point sl and my profit will be 45 point so what is your target target is showing here first target one is to one uh, it is showing here right uh, here you can see this is uh, first target one is to you one if you want to follow here 4105 that means <coughs> sorry 4100 uh, 4100 something like four, 05 that is one is to one ratio is somewhere here and if you want to place uh, one is to 1.5 here you can see one is to 1.5 is showing 408 uh, 4085 and 4085 here 1 is to 1 trading ratio and 1 is to 2 is 4060 4060 here is here you can see that is your target so no need to do automatically they will calculate according to your so you can uh, place your target here that is your trading uh, position sizing calculator right so now you can see here we have seen this one so we are looking for a just a minute we are looking for a bearish candlestick pattern once they follow bearish candlestick pattern so definitely we will go for sell and target will be according to their money management calculator so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching